What's up everyone? It's your boy Grand Dizzy here back at it again. Today is Sunday. God is good. God is good. Just got off of church. And I feel good, man. I feel like a million bucks. And I hope you feel the same way too. God is good. God is good. Yeah, I just got off of work and um as we were riding back. Okay, look at this person. <laughs> As I was driving back from uh, from church, something happened, something caught my attention. And I said, man, as soon as I get home, I'm gonna hop on this bike and we're gonna have a conversation. But I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm talking about, thanks to the thumbnails. <laughs> AKA the gossiper. Yeah, I call it a gossiper. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm gonna talk about. And this is something that I've been hearing for, for quite some time, for a very long time, actually. I'm pretty sure way before I was born, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, uh, I've been hearing it for pretty much everywhere I go. But today, I'm here to disprove it, but always remember, this is just my own opinion, okay? This, most people may agree with me, most too may not agree with me, which is fine. That's the reason why we have this community, so we can share ideas and, um, you know, learn from it. So, but, as you guys may know, just being on a motorcycle alone is, is dangerous. And I will not cheap out when it comes to safety. I will not cheap out, no way. Um, we are all guilty. One way or the other, we are all guilty. Uh, we do some stupid stuff on the bike here and there, like my last video that I made, I had my shorts on and somebody called me out. But, I mean, I live in Georgia and this place can get hot sometimes, you know, so most of the time, I just feel like, you know, riding with shorts. But somebody called me out, you know? They felt like, uh, okay, if you're talking about safety, why do you have this on? Which is a very good point. So one thing that I, um, I will not do because there is no protection on, on these bikes, on, on, on these two wheels. All we got is two big wheels and an engine, a motor, that's it. There is no airbags, there is no um, seat belts, nothing. I mean, nothing. So when it comes to safety, I take it very serious. And I have another safety video coming up uh, and I know you will love it. But today, we're gonna be talking about three things, or three, well, actually one myth, I'll call it a myth because most people can swear that it saved life, and I, I say no. So, I just did a, a few research, and with my own experience, I have added two more to it. Like I said, you already see it on the, um, on the thumbnail, so, Let's go straight to the point. Loud pipes, high vase, and a loud horn. Which one saves lives? And we're gonna start on a loud pipe. Guys, whenever I'm in my car, I'm driving my car, or I'm riding with someone, with family, friend, and I'm in my car, hear nothing like I don't know if the cars are built like soundproof or whatnot I, I really hear sound from coming from outside in I don't hear it so I don't know this road I'm still learning this road so um, 
I was a little closer to this guy. But yeah, I don't know this road very well. I'm just dropping the gear and getting lost today. Okay, so. When I'm, when I'm in my car, driving or driving myself or riding with someone, it doesn't matter. I, I can't hear anything that goes around me. I cannot. So, if someone tell me that um, loud pipe save life on bike, I disagree because most of the time, these bikes, uh, especially with Harleys, you know, with your potato, potato, potato sound. Guys, the only time, you know, I'll say with some exception, the only time that I very, you know, like I, I hear them, it's um, whenever I'm riding in a city. You know, if you're doing a city riding, like a stop and go, you can definitely hear, hear those bikes. But when you hit the highways and just cruising down, driving 70 miles, 80 miles, you, you can hear nothing. At least I cannot hear nothing. So if a rider is gonna, uh, is gonna depend his life on his pipe, I think he's very wrong. Because if I can hear it, I know majority of people cannot hear it. I have a brand new cars and I have a you know fairly new like 2015, 16 cars. One of them is like 2008. I, I can't hear nothing, so I'm asking myself, are uh, these cars built with some proof or what? And if they are, and if you want to base your loud pipe, you, you want to depend on it that it's going to save your life. And I know for sure that if I can hear you, majority of the people on the road cannot hear you. So how can you argue with me that your loud pipe, I don't care how loud your pipe is. I believe most of the cars that have been modified with a uh, you know, large exhaust and all that, I believe some of them are even louder than bikes. And you can really hear them unless they're very close to you and they're extremely loud, your windows are down, of course you can hear them. But if you're cruising, it's hot or it's cold and you have your windows all the way up, you can hear them. So, I mean, you can agree with me or disagree with me, that's okay, that's fine. But to my own opinion, I don't think loud pipes save life, period. And I will not depend my life on a loud pipe. I'm not gonna do that. No, I will, I will not do that. So, personally, I don't think they do save life. They sound good, don't get me wrong. And I really want one on this bike just because of the way they sound. But I would not depend my life on it. No. Would you depend your life on a loud pipe? Just leave a comment down below, let me know. Don't just say, uh, Grant, I, I disagree with you. Give me the reason why. Do you have any experience? Have you had any close calls that you think your loud pipe saved your life? Just bring it down. I would love to know. Now, the second one that I want to talk about, which I think is the most important of all these three, are high vis. Definitely believe in high vis. A hundred percent. A hundred percent, I believe in high vis. That high vis could save your life. If you look at my helmet, I'll see if I can drop a video down there, down below, and uh, in a dark area so you can see how bright they are at night. These little live strips on my helmet are super bright at night. And I know they have um, some kind of vest that you can put on on top of your gears and all that. Personally, again, this is my own personal experience. Guys, 
It takes me way too long to get ready and get on my bike. At least a good 15 minutes. That's how long it would take me to pull the, uh, the bike out of the garage, bring it outside. Let's just say I don't even have a garage. Just get the bike ready, inspect it, make sure the ties is properly inflated. There's no leaks, there's no cut, nothing. And then go back inside, put on my pants, my shoes, my jacket, my gloves, get a helmet, turn it on, turn my, um, my cam system on, hook it up, sync it. It took way too much time for me to get on my bike, at least a good 15 minutes. So, me adding like an extra layer on top of already longer or already delaying process for me personally I, I, I don't do it and the reason why I don't do it it's not because I don't care about my safety it's just one extra thing that I have to worry about now this vest that I have or this jacket that I have it has some um, um, reflective strips all around it and at night it lights up because it's black and my bike is also black total pitch black you know so when I'm out there I'm, I'm pretty much like you know nobody's gonna see me <laughs> you know what I mean so with um, any any anything that will reflect I know I have some stuff on the bikes that kind of reflect but again me personally on my jacket just a few strips that lights up at night whenever you know a, a light hit on it yeah that, that that will reflect and I believe the best way for you to do it is whenever you have um like a like a physical uh, safety jacket you know with a green or they all color coded by the way we have green we have yellow we have uh, red you know it doesn't really matter but personally the reason why I don't do it is because it takes me way too long to get prepared and get on my bike and adding that layer is just another you know another thing that I have to worry about and you know I don't so what I do to substitute is these light strips on top of my helmet you know and these are super bright they do have another one there that um there's this guy i believe they call it light strips and it animate change colors and all that kind of stuff but i picked these up from amazon super cheap like 25 dollars it's waterproof the only thing that I have to worry about is to make sure that I have um, the battery charged because depending on how long I ride, uh, sometimes the battery will die in the middle of my ride and I, I just forget to charge it. So when I get to wherever I'm going, I just go ahead and charge it. So high vis I believe it will save your life all day, any day. I will choose high vis over loud pipe anytime. Now the last thing that I want to talk about is the air horn. I believe that one is the master. It's on part with a high vase. But the air horn will save your life. You guys remember that um, before I started this mode of vlogging, I used to have a GoPro that I was just, you know, I was using it as a dash cam or a ride cam. I wasn't really doing anything until two months ago, I decided to start vlogging. Um, but I lost that camera and it hurt me so bad because if you guys have any idea how many times I've caught people doing stuff that they're not supposed to be doing, that they're not paying attention. And the only way for me to wake them up is my loud horn. You guys should be surprised. I've seen all kinds of stuff. Um, I used to be a truck driver. I drove the entire country. I used to drive 18-wheeler. And um, 
man, I have at least three million miles under my belt. And you guys know how uh, the truck sits high? You will not believe what kinds of stuff that we, we see, or at least have witnessed. And you ask yourself, what in the world are these fools doing? I have witnessed some weird stuff I can't even share. It's so nasty. Some of them are so nasty that I can't even share with you guys on this video. So, the only way to get a person's attention, a person like that's attention, is to use your air horn. Now, I remember, I have a few clips, and unfortunately, I lost that, um, I lost that um, camera, so I don't even have any proof. But one time, I have just gotten off of work, heading home, and this lady, oh my God, I have no clue what in the world she was doing. She was totally not paying attention, I know for sure. And I, I don't like using this horn because it makes people jump. They get scared and they start looking around for truck, but they don't see no truck and they see me. So this lady, she was clearly not paying attention. She was doing her makeups and she was eating at the same time. I, I, guys, I don't know. And I hit my horn to get her attention she almost lost control of a car because of how loud this horn is. I don't even want to hit it to demonstrate. I have a video that I'm going to leave a uh, link description somewhere over here where I went over the mods that I have on the bike. And I want you to just listen to, to the sound of this air horn. I want you to listen to the sound of the air horn. Guys, it is so loud that the lady almost lost control and she was looking around to find, um, to find a, a truck. She was looking for a truck. She could not find it and she realized it was me. And she was so apologetic. She was like, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. She was begging me and I'm like, that's okay. She almost, she could have killed me or hurt me. But that horn saved my life because of what she was doing. Because it's so loud. And anytime I use it, people just, you know, turn their head, they're looking for truck. So I don't, I don't even want to demonstrate it right now because I have a, obviously, I have one guy ahead of me. He just waved me. And uh, I don't want to just do it because, you know, but if you want to hear the sound, just what I have here on my bike is Denali Soundbound. And I'm gonna do a separate video on that machine, the Denali Soundbound. I'm gonna do a special video dedicated to that because what I have on here is my second uh, pair. Excuse me. It's my second pair that I have. The first one went bad and it was a user error. It has nothing to do with the, uh, the manufacturer or the unit that I have. It was just my, you know, and I'll go over that. So guys, I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. Do you think loud horn, uh, loud pipe save life? Or high vis or loud horn? I'll say, well, one, I'll say loud horn. Although I wanna say the high vis, I'll say the loud horn. And then I'll give the number two to the high vis. And then, I'll give zero. If I have to rate them all, I'll give zero to Loud Pipe. But at this time, I want you to leave me a comment down below and just tell me if you agree with me. If you, if, if you don't agree with me, do you have any experience? Hear me out. That is how it sounds like, guys. I just say goodbye to the guy. That's the only time I think I can say it. <laughs> but um, yes. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you agree with me or disagree with me. I want to know why. And if you have any close calls in regarding to that, as far as uh, loud pipes or a loud horn or a high vase, just leave a comment down below. 
unless uh, all land, maybe uh, you never know. We, we, you know, again, we are learning together. So, thank you so much for joining me on this uh, episode. I would like to leave you in peace. Just enjoy yourself, and always remember, God is good. Just go out there and spread some love, spread some pos positivities, and stay focused. I'll catch you guys up in my next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.